Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to change your server name and your server logo on your 5M server. This is something that's really straightforward and an essential for running a 5M server, but for some reason, not a lot of people know how to do it. So it's really simple and straightforward. Now, if you're not running it on your own PC or a VPS from HT Network or anyone else, then it's going to be slightly different, but you need to find the exact same thing. So the first thing you need to find is your server.cfg. So for a server running on HTNFW, my custom framework, it's going to be in your server data folder right here in server.cfg. Now, if you're running a Cubicore server or a vMenu server or an ESX, it's going to be called the exact same thing. It just might be in a slightly different location, especially if you're using TX admin, it's probably going to be in TX data. But just search for your server.cfg. And to change your server name, it's really simple and straightforward. You need to look for this section right here, where we've got SV host name, we've got SV project name, and we've got SV project description. Now it's pretty self-explanatory to change your server name. All you gotta do, I would recommend just customizing each one of those to your liking. And there you go. So to change it, all you need to do is change what is ever in between these quotes. Make sure you don't delete the quotes, you need to change what's in between them. So I've changed it to Highway Troopers 5M server. I've done both the same for the project name and the host name. And then for the description, I've just done join my awesome 5M server. Change it to whatever you want. It can be a little bit longer if you want. It's really up to you, but that's how you do it. We're just going to file and save those changes just to make sure that they're all nice and saved. Now, what I'd recommend doing to change your server logo is making sure you have a way of editing a image. So you could use Canva, for example, as a free online tool. But in this video, I'm going to use Photoshop since I do have access to it. But I'd recommend Canva. That's a free website where you can pretty much do exactly what I'm going to do on Photoshop. So in order to create a server logo, it needs to be 96 by 96 pixels, which is essentially a square. And then it also needs to be relatively small, around five kilobytes or so. And then it also needs to be put into our server and named the exact same as our previous image. So to do this, go onto Canva or go into Photoshop, whatever you're doing. Create a new project and make sure it is 96 by 96 pixels, just like this. And usually I stick to a resolution of about 72 pixels an inch. Uh, and obviously I'd recommend putting your bits down to the lowest as possible because we don't really want to have it much bigger than that because it'll make our file size bigger. So create a project on whatever you're using right here. And now all we need to do is make our logo. So make sure you've got yourself an image. I'm going to be using this logo. This is the HD Network Cubicore all-in-one package logo. Pick whatever your logo you want and make sure you have one. And I'd recommend usually setting the background to transparent so you don't just have like a white box or a blue box. If you want to have a box, then feel free to do so. But I'm just going to delete the background here so we have a nice transparent background. Now you might, if you zoom in, notice that the logo is really pixelated or whatever. But if you zoom out, to the point where 5M will probably be zoomed out as well, you'll notice it looks perfectly fine. So don't worry about that. It won't be low resolution on 5M. Now, all you need to do is make sure we export this and save it and make sure it is relatively low in size. So to do this on Photoshop, just go to export. Don't quick export as a PNG because you need a little bit more control than normal. Make sure you format it as a PNG if you're using Canva and Photoshop. Both need to be a PNG. And then make sure your width and your height are 96 pixels and make sure your file size is under about five kilobytes. You see mine right here is 4.7. To get it smaller, you can tick this one right here on Photoshop for smaller files. And then you can also change the scale and it's very, very similar on Canva. You can mess around with the scale too. If you can't, you can simply just Google a PNG file compressor and put it through that and then it'll compress it down to around five kilobytes as well. But once you've done that, we're going to export this and we're going to save it onto our computer and we'll put it into our server. Okay, so I put it onto the desktop of the VPS that my server is running on right here. And what you will see in that same location where our server.cfg is, so usually in your TX data or if you're running a HTNFW server from my website, in the server data folder. And you will see on every single server this guy right here, the my logo PNG. You want to copy this name, rename the logo we just made to that exact same thing. So paste that in right here rename it to mylogo.png, delete the old one, and drag and drop our new one in. And that should replace our old logo. Now that is pretty much it. You will notice here that if you did want to change the logo file name for whatever reason, uh, you can do so right here just by changing what it's going to look for. 
But honestly, I wouldn't really stress too much. Just rename it the same. It makes life easier. And that is it. We should be good now to file and save our server.cfg to make sure those changes do set. Close our server.cfg on down and give our server a little restart. And there we go. If we then search for our 5M server, search for the name or search for the IP or whatever, we will now see we've got our renamed 5M server to Hybrid Troopers 5M server. We got our custom description and we've also got our custom logo. Now, if your logo doesn't work, it's a little bit of trial and error. Sometimes you have to change it back and forth from a PNG or try and edit the size a little bit because it can't really be over five kilobytes. If it's over that five kilobytes, that's when your logo will stop working. So a little bit of trial and error, compress the image, try and change it back and forth from being transparent. Sometimes 5M takes a little bit to update, but you should see it within a couple of minutes once your server has been restarted. And you will also see it if you go back to your server as your icon on your panel right here and on your desktop, which is pretty cool. A little bit of customization too for your own 5M server. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below what video you guys want to see next. Be sure to turn on that notification bell so you guys do stay tuned for my future tutorials and videos to come. And make sure to check out HD Network, my website for setting up your own 5M server and getting 5M server hosting down in the description below.